this part of my journey. I've restarted journeys. I can't tell you how many times. You guys know that firsthand. And I always call it a diet, a this and a that. No, this is a lifestyle change. When I think of a diet, I think of, okay, so this is how I'm gonna be eating until I reach my goal weight and then that's that. No, this is a lifestyle change because I know maintaining is actually gonna be a lot harder than actually losing my weight. So I don't wanna consider this a diet. I don't think anyone should consider this a diet. I think that this should be just a new lifestyle for you that's helping you with your goals. Next question is, are you following a diet now? I'm actually intuitive eating right now, but I do have something in the making. You guys will see that video soon. I am honestly super excited for this chapter in my life <laughs> and I really hope that it pans out. So, so I'm losing weight again. As you guys know, I was balancing between these five pounds and I'm finally consistently going down now. And majority of my weight in the beginning was lost. Like, God, how much of it? 60 pounds plus 65 was lost through intuitive eating. And I was like, okay, I need more structure. So I did the Weight Watchers, I did the calories and I kept failing. I literally kept failing and you guys, now I'm back to intuitive eating. It's the only thing that works for me. It is so crazy to me that I can say that, that I could sit there and eat, you know, in moderation and eat things like Subway. I try to choose healthier options, but there are some times I'll have some chips or I'll have some candy. You know, there are times that I do do that. But it's like intuitive eating is what actually works for me. And I think it's because numbers trigger me. And when you do Weight Watchers, you have to count points. When you do calories, you have to count numbers and calories. And both of those things work. I will never knock Weight Watchers because it's actually amazing. Mm. Will you ever actually keep a diet for more than three days? So no, I will not. I do, I have, you guys, I can't diet. The only thing I could do is do a lifestyle change. And the only way that I've lost weight has been intuitive eating. Can't do the calorie count, can't do the points, can't do carbs, can't do anything like that. I lose weight by intuitive eating and that is what works for me. I mean, there's no, if sands or butts and intuitive eating is not a diet. It is what our bodies are meant to do. Obviously the biggest way for people to lose weight is dieting, whether it be keto or calorie counting or Weight Watchers, all those things are justifiable. They work and they're amazing. If they work for you, go for it. But they don't work for me in the sense of, it's not realistic for myself. I am a binge eater. I overthink things. I get too overwhelmed and then I give up intuitive eating. I don't have, the same triggers with it because a lot of people ask like what are your triggers counting calories counting points measuring my food it's just not it just doesn't work for me so in today's video i want to do a what i ate today so my therapist is helping me with my binge eating and she recommends intuitive eating so i am going to intuitively eat today i am filming this intro at the end of the night and everything i ate today was very intuitive and i was like listening to my body okay you guys so i am eating the first thing that i will be eating today i'm gonna be more i know a lot of people hate this word but more just like intuitive um but also realistic because it's like, yeah, intuitively I would love five guys, but realistically I know that that's also not great for my weight loss. So instead, you know, make a turkey burger at home. You know, it's, I don't have to make it as complicated as, as I am making it, I guess. Anyways. So my steps forward is I am going to 
keep a food journal, like a physical food journal. And I'm gonna write down everything that I eat. I am not going to count calories because that is exactly what my psychologist says do not do. So that can help with my binge eating. But I am going to be intuitive in what I am eating based on the amount that I'm eating, which is gonna help with weight loss, obviously. And then I'm going to drink more water and try to have more movement in my day, like walking and things like that, mixed with not as much pork rinds, if you will, and things to that extent. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm ever gonna eat another pork rind for a very long time because, I don't know, I am correlating pork rinds with feeling like absolute crap and they it kind of makes me nauseous thinking about it. So I am trying to take the advice from each professional that I'm seeing, all three of them, and I'm going to like put it together and create something because I'm just kind of stuck right now. So waking up, I'm like, am I hungry? See, I don't know, because I'm trying to do the whole intuitive thing and like the normal side of me would eat something right now. But what about the intuitive girly? Like, I don't know how to like find hunger cues. I don't know, like I know hunger ping and I know that feeling and stuff, but like in a moment like this, I feel like maybe I'm just like head hungry, not like physical hunger, but like do normal people only eat when they feel physical hunger? So it's like, I don't get it, shit ain't adding up. Intuitive eating is hard sometimes. Like I'm not gonna lie, so I don't know what to do. And then it's like, if I do eat, do I wanna order out or do I wanna like cook something here? It's just a lot of questions. Like, oh, <laughs> I think I think too hard about it. Cause I use this whole beginning of 2024 as a way of like intuitive eating, like making better choices. Like let's cook more at home. Like when you go to the grocery store, have that grocery list so you are prepared. So I've spent almost three months doing that and it has felt really good. And I have lost weight. I'm actually succeeding in that. Like, yay me. So instead of just like trying to be perfect overnight, I slowly just like intuitive ate for, I want to say a little over two months. It was working, it was doing good. 